Well, the centre has always used low passenger fares as an excuse for the sorry state of affairs of Indian Railways as India's largest employer faces financial crunch. Now, a damning CAG report has indicted Railways of causing a whopping loss of 18,000 crore rupees to the Exchequer. The report directly accuses Railway officials of manipulating rules and regulations which resulted in windfall profits for several companies. Indian Railways is in a financial mess, with losses reaching a whopping 25,000 crore. The government has always blamed passenger fare subsidies for the rising losses. But a damning CAG report has punctured all such claims. According to the CAG report, which was tabled in Parliament yesterday, the Indian Railways is responsible for causing a loss of 18,000 crore to the Exchequer during the period of 2008 to 2012. According to CAG, the Railways lost revenues of around rupees 4,300 crore because of the failure of Railways to ensure proper documentation under the dual pricing system for transportation of iron ore. The audit says that about Rs 15,500 crore is yet to be recovered as penalty from various iron export companies. CAG says that the loopholes in government dual pricing system led to the losses. Further, the freight rate fix for transporting iron ore for non-domestic consumption was more than three times the fixed rate for domestic consumption. The report states that 65% of the overhaul locos registered failure within three months of periodic overhaul and because of no decision of utilization of land so far, assets worth Rs 140 crore are still blocked. And it doesn't end here. The CAG has alleged that railway officials are hand in glove with the companies and rules were bent to provide financial benefit to them. The CAG has charged railways with massive corruption. In an election season, the government has a lot of explaining to do.